all will agree that this is a happy occasion. It is something that has been long in the making. This is indeed a momentous time in the history of the United Nations. Since 2008, the Department of Public Information has managed the annual program of commemorative activities in observance of the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slavery. It was the African Union in conjunction with the CARICOM countries that spearheaded the effort that has been made in the United Nations to erect a permanent memorial for the victims of slavery and the transatlantic slave trade. UNESCO is very honored to have been associated with the permanent memorial practically from the very beginning. Well, I just want to thank you for having the opportunity of being here. It's with a lot of pleasure that Senegal, as a quality of member of the Committee of the Pilotage, has decided to support the contribution symbolic. We also hope that the monument will be uh, a reminder about current xenophobia, racism, uh, and other forms of uh, racial discrimination. There always will be room for improvement and discrimination in this world is a terrible, terrible thing that we continue to work on and, and it's an evolving challenge that we absolutely need to tackle sooner rather than later. The Ark of Return, in addition to commemorating slavery, will also be a symbol of the United Nations commitment against that sort of discrimination. The Ark of Return is a bridge across the Atlantic a universal point of reference, a place of interaction and communication for global cultural exchange. Once completed, it will also serve as a reminder for generations to come of mankind's past failures. I wish to extend gratitude to the following member states, the United Nations who today have made generous contributions to the Trust Fund. Senegal, Netherlands, New Zealand, Qatar, Spain, and Latvia. It is our common responsibility as a global community for the benefit of our common universal values. So I'm happy that Latvia, through its generous private sector, could contribute to the establishment of this memorial. To create this memorial, I see that it's a very good idea. And I think that people uh, don't forget this injustice uh, moments in uh, human history. And my heartful thanks to all of you present today and let's also express gratitude to those who have contributed to the Permanent Memorial Fund account in the past.